Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I want to answer the most frequently asked questions concerning my hair transplant. If you may know, I did a hair transplant a couple of months ago and it's been now for seven months. I will also show somewhere in the video a comparison between how my hair looked like before the intervention compared to today, seven months later. But okay, so let's start with the first question. How many hairs did you transplant? So I transplanted around 1,500 hairs. Now in previous videos I saw sometimes got mistaken about grafts. As you may know, a graft is not a hair. Basically on a graft there are multiple hairs that can grow on one graft. And a hair, well, it's just a hair. Question number two, what's the clinic you went to? My clinic was called DHI Clinic Lutetia in Paris, in France. If I'm not mistaken, the DHI Clinic in Paris is also part of the DHI group. From the DHI group there are a lot of clinics that are around the world. Next question, FUE or FUT? Well, basically, I don't know, because I don't even know what's the effect on me with one of those uh, interventions. I did a DHI, which is another technique. It's just like the clinic that I just mentioned, DHI clinic. DHI stands for Direct Hair Implantation. The way this technique is used, the doctors will extract every hair one by one on the donor area and they will implant it right here on the top where you're losing your hair. And it's very, very precise because they are doing every hair one by one. Next question. How does your donor area look like? Now that's a question that I got very often because basically it's my fault. I always forget to put the footage of my donor area in the videos. Now I made a six month comparison video where I showed really from day one to day six to month to the sixth month the whole evolution with all the footages and there I put those footages of my donor area so if you want to see how the donor area evolved you can watch that previous video. I will just show you right now how it looks today so here you go. So as you can see nice and clean. Okay next question are you on finasteride or other pills or vitamins or whatsoever? The answer concerning finasteride is that I'm not using it. <gasps> Yeah, I'm just being honest with you guys. I know it blows your mind completely. I know. I'm just following the instructions of my clinic and my own doctor. They only prescribe me this little thing here, minoxidil. At the moment, it's doing fine. I'm just using, I'm just sticking with this. But as you know, there is this option called finasteride. So to answer your question, no, I only use minoxidil. What are the side effects that you had with the products? If you want to know in details which side effects I had, it's only with uh, the product called Minoxidil that I had some side effects. So you can just click over here to watch that detailed video. But just to keep it short, I just had to lower the dose that uh, it was prescribed to me. Uh, my body felt like was dying. Like I had too low blood pressure. That wasn't fun. But now it's all under control. Next question. It's quite an interesting question. When do you see your first results. In the first week your hair already starts growing. However in my case I started really noticing the first results 10 days after the surgery because after 10 days those little scabs and blood crusts are gone and then you can really see those little tiny little hairs that are implanted on your hair. For me that was really the first results. This leads me to the next question. When can you go outside without people noticing you all the time with a funny head and without staring? Basically most of the time people just ask me this question because they want to know when they can go back to work or back to school or how much time it takes before they can go out with friends again. To play safe I would say that the next couple of five to six weeks yeah you're going to be perhaps a bit more at home. Now it also depends on which hairstyle that you have. For instance you can keep your hair here on the top you can keep it as long as you want. I decided to shave everything off just to see like how my hair is growing from day one but you can choose to keep some hair here on the top and then you can start hiding it with your hair. The one thing that you have to be careful about is the donor area. On that part they will have to shave that off to two millimeters. If you want you can put already after three days, so three days after the intervention, you can already wear a big head that doesn't touch the implanted area. So that's very important. Basically you uh, don't have a lot of possibilities but if you want to look like this guy over here, well, then you can. 
But honestly, I think the best thing to do is just to leave it all open and let your hair breathe. Even though you can still use a very big head after a couple of days, after your intervention, I would just recommend to not use it at all. It's better to keep all your hairs in open air so it can breathe. Just don't wear it too long for maximum an hour or so. Just the time to go to the shop and come back home. Next question. How often do you need to wash your hair? So for one month, I washed my hair in the morning and in the evening. And afterwards, I just washed my hair once a day. And I started immediately after the intervention. It, of course, in the beginning, I washed it very, very carefully. I, I was always afraid to touch those implanted areas and zone and everything. But you can't do anything wrong as long as you don't use your nails. And you're just rubbing and scrubbing it very gently with circular movements. Nothing can go wrong. Also, don't use too hot water. Just like on room temperature more or less like yeah a bit colder than usual that's how I did it but you can still use warm water but not too hot and also the way I wash my hair is still always with this shampoo so you can use it from day one also I will put a link in the description down below where you can buy those on Amazon okay next question is I think it's the most important question that you're all wondering uh, well how much did you pay <clears throat> 3,900 euros and okay, I know what you're thinking. Wow, that guy paid so much. Like, I found another better deal where I only pay $1,000, 7,000 graphs, a six-star hotel, including the flight. Wow, that's so much better than this guy's intervention. Well, okay, you can do whatever you want. I I'm not saying that you have to go to my clinic. I'm just answering your questions. And I'm just saying that I had my own personal reasons to go to this specific clinic and those reasons went beyond the price tag that I had to pay. Hopefully I only have to do a hair transplant once or twice in my life and I really want to do it correctly. I don't want to go every year on another correction. So I'm not saying that other clinics are bad. No, I'm saying that there are a lot of great clinics. You just have to see and feel which clinic suits you the best because that's the most important thing. You just have to find a clinic where you feel that you're going to be treated like a human being. You are going to have the results that you want with the technique that you want. Don't only look at the price. Also look at other things like the reputation of the doctors. Do they have good reviews? What are people saying on social media concerning that specific clinic? There are a lot of little things that you have to see and notice before deciding to go somewhere. Another question that I got a lot is how did your friends and family and colleagues reacted when they saw your face? <laughs> there were only two or three people that actually knew that I was going to do a hair transplant. All the rest just discovered, well, the day I came back. And the way they reacted, well... Shame! 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 That's disgusting! <laughs> to be honest, I really thought that everyone was going to react in that way. But actually, in reality, people, including my mom, just reacted like this. You did what? No, really? Oh man, that's that's awesome because I was still thinking the other day that you were losing so much hair and look at you, you did something about it. Thanks. Of course, in the beginning, people always come to you and ask some questions because they are curious. In my case, they just wanted to know if I suffered because they saw my face and they thought like that I had the most painful experience in my life, which was not the case. And then life went on and we didn't really talk about it anymore. Well, occasionally when someone brought the subject, but that's about it. They actually were quite positive and they were actually pretty exciting to see the results. Next question, did it hurt? Well, to be honest, it was just the local anesthesia that, yeah, that I really felt <laughs> that it stings. Yeah, you will have a lot of needles in your head. Uh, well, it's just one needle and they are going one by one. And by the time that everything is, is asleep, you, well, you don't feel anything at all. That's really the only thing that you feel. Besides, after the intervention, there is just another thing that is a bit sensitive, is the donor area. I thought that this was going to hurt, but basically, implanted zone never ever hurt, ever. But what did hurt was the donor area. The very first month it was quite sensitive. This soothing lotion is just a spray based on aloe vera and I just use it every time it became a bit too discomfortable. This was one of the most frequently asked questions. Alrighty then, I think that you guys deserved a comparison video so I will show how my feet, oh my feet, <laughs> oh my hair looked like before the intervention compared to today seven months later. And 
this is how the donor area looks like. So here you go guys, but please note that the end result will only be visible one year after the hair transplant intervention So it's in a couple of months from today Therefore I invite you to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell So you get notified for that upcoming update If you wish to see a whole comparison video from day one to six months after the hair transplant Well just click underneath me and you can see and watch that video Or you can just click there on the side to another random video concerning my hair transplant Okay, so here you go guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!